Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. So we have the four of wands. Also, when I was shuffling, I kept seeing the cleanup card. So somebody may be in the process of cutting ties or closing out cycles, removing toxic or um, outdated situations, people, things from their life. Okay, we have sun, Leo energy. We have cannot be trusted. We have dark night of the soul. Clarify the four of wands. We have the blood of catch. So somebody is wanting to commit to you. Yeah, somebody is very, is focused on having a marrying you or settling down with you, being a family with you. Somebody's afraid of losing you as well. Like you're somebody that they want to lock down. So maybe somebody's cleaning up their life for you. Okay. What about the sun? Yeah, we, somebody is also, something has been illuminated to somebody about their feelings and emotions for you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay. Tell you about cannot be trusted. We have six of wands. Um, either you're feeling like you can't trust somebody because you feel like they're like an attention whore or they like they get a lot of attention or somebody feels like they cannot trust you because you get a lot of attention. <laughs> um, hmm. Or because someone's egotistical, dark night of the soul and money focus. So somebody, you could be in um, separation from somebody or you could be in, you could have been in this period of your life where you were maybe disconnected from somebody and you were more focused on career and money or this is what they're focused they're going through the dark night of the soul and they are focused on their money or career or something like that okay so what does this have to do with my collective we have ghosting so you may feel like there's a lack of closure when it comes to a situation or somebody feels like there's a lack of closure when it comes to you and you guys feel like you've waited a long time for something or Mm. it's like you guys may feel like something isn't over but you're like okay is anything else gonna happen or you know like you're kind of just waiting for like the next ball to drop like it doesn't feel like things are over between that person i don't feel like it's the, you know i'm never gonna hear from them again but it's been a long time since we talked and you know i feel like you guys did cut this person off queen of swords energy gemini libra aquarius energy you guys set boundaries you've been trying to focus on yourself um, but it's like, you guys just know that you're either going to hear from somebody again, or it's just like, there's more that's yet to happen between you and a person. And you guys may be wondering like, you know, maybe they're not coming back or maybe, you know, but we do have justice here. Libra energy. What about justice and healing? So, you know why you haven't heard from somebody guys? Wow. This is like, why did I just start getting emotional? That literally like a wave of emotion just went over me, like literally teary eyed. You haven't heard from somebody and there's been a separation between the two of you because you deserve, you're getting, you're, what you deserve is coming in. Somebody is literally healing to be with you. Somebody is literally getting their shit together to be with you, especially with me seeing clean it, um, clean it up earlier, whatever that card says. Wow. Like, I don't know. I just feel like this very like emotional, genuine, loving energy that somebody has for you. Okay, like somebody is finally realizing that it's time for them to grow the fuck up. Okay, it's time for them to make better choices, healthier choices, for them to remove the toxicity out of their life. And they're doing this because they don't want to lose you. They want to marry you. They want to settle down with you. Wow. And I feel like you guys know that it's not over between you and this person, but it's just been you. This is some for whoever's reading this is you have been in separation from this person for a while. You know, it's been, it hasn't been like a few weeks or a month. It's been, this is somebody you've been in separation with for a, for a while, especially with the four of swords. Yeah. And you guys have maybe both been going through the dark night of the soul or just both healing. And I feel like that was necessary. What about the seven of swords? Death. Somebody wants to put an end to some type of deception or sneakiness or a lie or hiding something here. De or it's like they're doing this in secret. Like somebody has been like, whether you knew it or not, going through a transformation and ending in their life. Scorpio energy. This, what about the two of wands? Yeah, it's like, I feel like somebody has been maybe not being honest with you about the fact that they have been indecisive about which path they wanted to go down in their life. They didn't know if they wanted to be with you or somebody else, or they didn't know if they wanted to be single or if they wanted to be in a relationship or if they were ready for commitment or if they wanted to be single and they wanted to date around. And I think that they haven't been completely honest with you about that. Okay. And what about forbidden though? 
Wheel of Fortune. Whatever was making this person feel like the two of you couldn't work or what was whatever was keeping the two of you apart, I feel like that's going to be coming to an end, okay? Um, we have the lovers here. Yeah, because strong, deep connection here. Obviously, we, right as I'm saying strong, we have the strength card coming out. This is the kind of connection here with strength in the lovers that is going to, even, and for some of you, their friends or family does not approve of this relationship, all right? Or there's just some major differences between the two of you. But this is the kind of relationship, Gemini energy and Leo energy, with the lovers and the strength card that can overcome any obstacle. Because it's like, this is good. This is an enduring love relationship connection. Wow. Yep. Eight of wands here. And lessons. Yeah. Separation is necessary. I think the separation was needed so that change could happen faster. I feel like this was maybe something that was going to happen e either way. But I feel like the separation was needed for there to be clarity or for there to be a breakthrough. Okay. Yeah. So that there could be enlightenment in solitude, soul searching here. Look at this. Clean up. So that somebody could start doing that inner work. This mask, it was mostly the masculine. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling, guys, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Emperor. What was the other? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. There is stability. There is abundance. There is commitment, long, long lasting, enduring union here somebody is literally stepping into their divine feminine divine masculine energy finally yeah and that's what is bringing in the reciprocity you may feel like you never had an equal give and take with this person that is changing yeah yeah five of pentacles here though what about the five of pentacles judgment i think if you guys left this person alone or you rejected them it woke them up to something here or like you may feel like somebody's kind of leaving you behind like I, like I was saying earlier you may feel like you know I don't feel like things are over between the two of us I do feel this connection still I haven't heard from them in a long time you know I'm I'm not reaching out to them either we haven't talked uh, maybe they are leaving me behind but Siri is saying that there is a renewal here Scorpio energy or there will be a, but why is the devil here maybe when you left them out in the cold yeah yeah, it's almost like when you, what is the five of pentacles? Divine timing, yeah. You guys may feel like somebody is leaving you on the cold or abandoning you, but it's actually, you're moving into calmer waters here with the six of swords. Yeah, things are actually improving even in the separation. There's the empress. Now we have the empress and the emperor, emperor out here and there will be energy. There's, somebody's obsessive over you. They feel a very strong attachment to you. Capricorn energy, the devil, yeah, the knight of swords. And the tower. What about the tower? Scorpio energy. The king of swords. They've gotten some type of clarity. Yeah, that they're not happy without you, I feel like. Or if you guys re rejected this person, that changed things. Yeah, they. I do see. I don't know, guys. I don't I don't know what this person did. I know y'all are going to be like, they did the most. They, they did the worst. They did the unforgivable. But whew, this energy that I feel between you and this person... Or the, the love. Like, I just, I literally got teary-eyed. That only happens every once in a while when I'm doing a reading. Yeah, and I just saw the Eight of Wands, and that card says a sudden rush of love. That's literally what I just felt. And, like, I got choked up. Wow. Um, There is twin flame unions very close. Like, this energy in these twin flame readings is, like, climaxing. Or it's, like, it's getting more intense, like... Twin flame union or reunion is very near for whoever, like for some people. I feel it. Um, what is, but why, like, if, if my collective did reject them, why did they do that? Yeah, because they, for some of you, they put you in, of course, in a third party situation or they hurt you, obviously. They broke your heart. In what way? They can't put it, they can't stringing you along or expecting you to put your life on hold or, well, they, I've told you, for some of you, this is definitely somebody that could not decide if they wanted to be with you or somebody else. And they kept, they were kind of stringing you along and possibly stringing somebody else along. And yeah, what about the 10 of Pentacles? Or they waited a really long time to give you this steady, solid relationship. And you're like, why is it taking this person this long to give me what I deserve? Like if they, you know, but why is the Six of Swords here? We have the Two of Wands, yeah. 
waiting, future planning, waiting for what about six of swords? The knight of swords and the knight of pentacles. They've been slowly moving. What about why is there two conflicting energies here? Strength. I think that they were always like trying to make their way towards you and with a solid offer, but there's something that is speeding up the process here. And I really feel like it's you guys kind of either letting this person go or yeah, it's like something about you guys moving on with your life. All right. Yeah. Focusing on yourself, freedom, you being in this free and independent energy. That's kind of like making this person feel like they need to come towards you like you're, they're missing an opportunity with you or they need to come towards you quicker or they need to get their life together quicker yeah with the the chariot cancer energy and they need to maybe they need to close out a cycle what is the world libra energy what's the world the page of pentacles youthful energy newness financial offer good news this somebody wants a new opportunity with you that's their goal it's like now this person has a goal in mind, but there is something that they need to close out here. Yeah, they may even end up ghosting somebody. There's like a situation where it's like open-ended or it's up in the air and the two of swords. They felt like they needed to see more before they made the decision. There's something that they needed to see or gain knowledge or clarity on before they made the decision to close out a cycle, okay? Um the ace of swords and the here of five for some of you they just weren't sure if they wanted a commitment or they weren't sure who they wanted to commit to with the here of five and the ace of swords um taurus energy but this person is having an awakening now yeah it's something about you guys bruise this person's ego yeah you guys bruise this person's ego because i think that they were making false promises to you i think that they were at some point playing on the love and the emotions that you had for them which is not okay I think they were resisting the connection, but they could have even made you feel rejected. Although they felt this very strong connection to you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. And yeah, they had to look at this. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Definitely two different people here. The Page of Wands. See, one of these situations was, or for some of you, they had options. What does the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles mean for my collective? The Ace of Cups and the inconsiderate behavior giving you mixed signals. Yeah, I think that they were giving you mixed signals because they had options in love. Yeah, and you were maybe their newest option or something like that, and they just weren't sure about you, or I don't know. They could even, yeah, they betrayed you. Yeah, betrayed you to what? They could have, for some of you, they could have betrayed you to explore other options or something like that, or explore another option. Mm-mm. All right. So what now? We have the witch. It says, they see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell. <laughs> see, the right. Oh, for some of you, they did have a karmic that was doing spell work on them. Because why did the witch and the rival come out together? Or clarifying the witch was the rival. So for some of you, they did have somebody doing spell work on them. They chose someone else that was maybe doing glamour magic or they did some type of spell work to make them think that the best choice for them was to stay with them or to choose them. Lord, they chose someone else over you. And though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. Yeah, I just saw a new perspective, though. So they're, see they're seeing that differently now, though. It could have been due to some type of way that they were raised or something like that. They're clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. Tell me more. We have back and forth. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. Yeah, there's that mixed signals, hot and cold type energy. Wishing well. There are a lot, there's a lot of excitement in the air. You awakened a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities. Give me a few more. The mask. 
they want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. We have lack of faith. Yeah, they know. If they walked away from you or abandoned you, rejected you, left you out in the cold to explore another option or whatever they did, it says leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. Yeah, unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them... Um, locked into the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety unable to act upon their love and we have divinely guided you have met your divine flame just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing we have stuck in a loop it says the pattern has become familiar to them and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating and i think this person's recognizing that if they want to if they want to stop keep if they want to stop repeating the same cycles they have to heal they have to change they have to remove. They have to eliminate. We have temptation. Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. We have this again. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Why are they resisting this so hard? They're going to reach out to you and it's because they feel you pulling away from them. And they, they've been keeping tabs on you. Okay? They still have a lot of passion for you. Why are they seeing the collective as the forbidden fruit though? Because, oh. <laughs> so, they. I was kind of already getting it. But... I wanted to get confirmation of it. So this person seeing you as the forbidden fruit because they know they messed up. It's like this person, a big part of them feels like they will never get another chance with you. They know they crossed the line with you. They know they messed up. And they. it's almost like they knew when they did what they did and they realized how badly they messed up. They're like, well, you know, the collector is never going to forgive me again. So I, it's, it's best I just get over them. It's best I just try to forget them and move on with my life because... They're never going to give me another chance. And they're like, oh, shit, I can't let them go. I can't get over them. And they're like, you know what? Actually, the only thing that I can do, like, since I can't get over them, I guess I'm going to have to get my life together. And I'm going to have to change. And I'm going to have to try to prove myself to them. And, you know, they, they're very determined to get you back, to get another chance with you. But they know that to be able to even have a chance at getting another, you know, shot with you, they're going to have to change. They're going to have to heal. They're going to have to eliminate people from their life and situations and addictions and habits. So it says they feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. So they desire you, but they feel like they that you will reject them. So that's why they see you as the forbidden fruit. I do feel like this person tried to force themselves to get over you because they just thought that you would never forgive them and they had no choice. But that's not working out either. So now they're now they're focused on just changing their life to maybe hopefully be able to prove to you that they are different so if you haven't heard from this person it's not because they haven't forgotten about you has it's not because they haven't they still feel this connection it's not because they you know met somebody new i mean you know it's gonna be different for all of you but whoever whoever's reading this is the reason why you haven't heard from this person is because they first of all know that they really messed up and that there's a good possibility that you're, you'll reject them and second of all um it's because they're over there trying to get their shit together before they come towards you. It's like they're trying to come towards you correct. And with something to back up, you know, they know that their words mean nothing. Like I, I don't I was seeing that earlier. They know that they can they, their words that their words mean nothing to you. So they know they gotta get it's like almost like they they feel they want to come towards you with like their shit, like their money together. They want to come towards you healed. They want to come towards you like that total package. Like they want to come towards you with something that they can show you, that they can like because words don't mean anything. They're, they have, because what did that, they've made too many false promises, right? They've made too many false promises. So this person feels like they got to come towards you with something tangible, right? Something that you can see, something that they can give to you, right? Whether that's their time, material things, what, maybe all those things. So like, all right, if I need, if I want to give them my time, I got to make space for that. If I want to be able to, to to buy them nice things, take them out on dates, take them on trips, so I got to have the money for that. It's like they're kind of thinking in that way. But the goal is to commit to you, to be with you. Okay, now you guys have free will, right? You don't have to take them back, but I'm just telling you what I see here. I'm just telling you what I see here.